The mayor and city council on Tuesday convened an extraordinary meeting to look at the administration's financial woes. Chairman of the Finance Committee, Oscar Clark, disclosed that the difficulties being faced will not go away as long as the employment cost remains at 68% of the council's revenue. There is still about a $30 million uh, deficit in the payment. Um, uh, uh, 18 million of which is for salaries. Clark pointed out that workers in the council are paid a better salary when compared to persons who hold those same positions within other organizations in the public service. He noted that the mayor and city council will have to undertake a review of the entire staff structure in 2018, and this was communicated to the union. One of the things we have to undertake is a review of our entire um, staff structure. And we will have to discuss with them the way forward in terms of reducing the number of people we have on staff and therefore reducing the amount of money we have. It's not that we don't think there are workers, that the, that the council needs the workers. The council needs the workers, the council got the money to pay the workers. Mayor Patricia Chase Green said it's a question of garnering more revenue or retrenching workers as she is not too keen on putting families on the breadline. Other councillors also pointed out that reducing the workforce of the council is not the answer. Clark further disclosed that the council has 260 pensioners. Also has some 260 pensioners and every year the, the figure is going up. And the pension payments are increasing each, each year. So we have to look at that um, area as well. To increase its revenue, the council took a vote to introduce an amnesty period for taxpayers from today, November 15 to December 15. A think tank committee was also set up to brainstorm ideas for long-term solutions to the council's financial issue. Bibi Katun, Newsroom.